Hello and welcome back. I am Big Squirrel. It is Friday and we are taking a look at a demo of a game in development called Trailblazer. And it is so cool. I've already played through this one time and I don't know why people haven't used the ideas that are in this game before. Like, I, I don't know how this game is this original. The setting, being able to choose a beginning skill set. I'm going to go with Marksman. I did Gunslinger the first time. I just want to see how different it is with the, the actual things. You There are skill trees, so you can go into other stuff if you don't like the first couple things that you got into. But this is... This is incredibly original. Just from... <laughs> combat you, there's all kinds of cool gun tricks and stuff that you can use there is still some magic like stuff in it and even just setting it in the old west and having it be properly set there i am this is so cool and stay down old man this here is a business transaction and ain't none of your business now where was we oh yeah that boy you got is coming with us you're going to hand him over or we're going to make you all party like Hell, it's been a while since the boys had a tussle with a lady, so we may make you all party like even if you do hand him over. Now, Danny, you get in the house and go upstairs. Don't let no one in, you hear? Run along, boy. Now, I don't care whose gang y'all are with. My boy is staying right here with me. And who's going to stop us? You? My husband's hunting rifle says that you're going to walk away and not bother me and mine again. That's a good one, lady. You forgot that gun only holds one round and there's two of us. Your hand so much as touches iron, see what happens. You... you ain't gonna... Now what'd I tell you, old man? I told you to stay down, but you didn't listen. Now I had to go and shoot you. Now, as I was saying, little lady, who's going to stop us? I'm going to. What? Who? Where'd you come from? What are you saying? That's a might lot of questions, partner. I hope you ain't planning on getting answers to all four. Check this out, Hoss. This here drifter thinks he can take on a couple of outlaws like us. He must be cracked. Outlaws, huh? Then why are you wearing Confederate grays? What? How did you... The sun set on the bushwhackers when your side lost the war. This is a mite far west for your gang to be causing trouble. You must have gotten routed and are out here looking to replenish your number. You ain't outlaws. You're just a couple of washed up has-beens. Washed up? I take umbrage with that statement. Me and Hoss here ain't never bathed the day in our life. We'll show you. Get it! And now... <laughs> There is so much cool stuff in this game. Uh, this will increase accuracy and critical threat of the next act, attack, or feat. Cool. And it's an instant action, which I found means I can just use it, buff myself up, and then I get to use whatever I want. Well, <laughs> an attack or a feat, anyway. Wow. And our <laughs> counterattack was also a critical. That is awesome. Damn graybacks. Papa, you okay? I'm all right, honey. Lucky me, this pocket Bible stopped the bullet. That was my kind of you. How is it I haven't seen you around these parts before? Ain't not but a bit of kindness from a stranger. Don't worry, I'll be out of your hair soon enough. I'm just passing through. I see. You don't happen to have a saloon in this little boom town, do you? Yeah, it's the next building back. You sure you don't want to stay? I was about to put on supper for Danny and Papa. No thanks, ma'am. Like I said, I'm just passing through. And we can loot people. <laughs> Which, it's interesting that we can get loot from the fighting and from this. He was carrying a drop holster. That's how he drew on that old man so fast. Now that is something that we can equip. And we do, I keep messing that up. I just immediately start hitting down and forget I need to, like, click the button to say equip. But yeah, we do have accessories and equipment and all the cool stuff in this. Also, choosing accents for this game, 
is really difficult because accents were so varied in the Wild West. Look, if it's money you want, we don't got none. We don't want no trouble, mister. Don't worry, I ain't here to rob you. I'm just here to drink. But we hear gunshots. Those rustlers won't be bothering you no more. Much obliged. We've all been through the mill here. What are you drinking, mister? Whiskey, straight. Bit early for a cowboy cocktail, ain't it? Been a long morning. Say, you're the owner of this here establishment. I am. Bet it with my own hands. It ain't that common for a person of your color to own much of nothing. Gotta be some kind of story there. Well, you know how it goes. Once the Fugitive Slave Acts went into effect, couldn't just go north for freedom anymore. Had to go all the way to Canada. We're a long way from Canada, son. I didn't go to Canada. The other option was to head west, find a place for yourself in Apache territory. I say in Apache territory, neither. That's a keen eye. Well, I never quite made it to Apache lands. Came across some settlers, and they were in rough shape. Their well run dry, so I built them a pump to get water from deep out of the ground. And they took me in, no questions. This town just popped up soon after. Then war broke out back east, and not a lot of people looking for runaway slaves anymore. Figured I had run long enough. That was ten years ago. Been running this saloon and fixing anything that's broke ever since. That's a hell of a story. Sure glad you made it. Toast to you, my fine man. HP and AP recovered. What about you? Where are you from? Which one is he? Which one here killed Hoss and Cletus? The drifter and the duster. The one with the scarf. Him? He ain't look like much. I'm sorry. No need for apologies, sir. I'm the one that killed his buddies, after all. You sure are cavalier for a dead man. Look, partner. I know you want to fight and all, but do you mind letting a poor man drink in peace for a shake? Guess not. The bastard broke my glasses. I love that. This here's the guy who killed Hoss and Cletus. You make me seem like a monster saying stuff like that. But if it's a fight you're looking for, might as well oblige. Oh, hell, that bastard disarmed me. While I'm disarmed, I can't use my main arm. Lucky me, I always carry this here apple peeler as a sidearm. Yep, maybe we can switch weapons just by hitting right. And then we can attack. Oh, another critical hit. And another counterattack. Wow. Status effects are tracks next to the character's nameplate. The white number shows the duration remaining. If there is no white number, then it ends when combat ends. Ah, oh, we got whipped. <laughs> I feel like getting far too many critical hits. Okay, finally one that wasn't. Hmm, looks like that guy's decided to take cover. Cover increases evasions and even attacks that do connect don't deal very much damage. Physical damage is less effective than energy damage, and some skills can ignore cover. Lucky me, I got a pet squirrel that can get around cover. Might be time for a jack attack. Absolutely. I don't know why this is in the voodoo section. It's a squirrel. I guess there's really not any other place to put it. Looks like that guy had a cow cracker. Whips are a sidearm that allow the user to hit multiple enemies if they're nearby each other. So, like, on a column is the way that one works. Uh, you can replace the apple peel to have advantage against multiple targets, which is what I'm going to do since our main weapon only hits one person. He's over there! Damn, how many of you are there? Seems like there's just the two of them. Okay, here we go. And we can still use this. Aim to misbehave. That is awesome that that is such a uh, flexible thing. Usually the feats and stuff are assigned to what weapon you have going in, in your main hand at the time, but yeah, I, I guess that one lets you do it whenever. This fight is looking a little tougher. I should probably take cover to avoid getting hit. Taking cover doubles evasion and reduces incoming damage. And if you have a ranged weapon when you take cover, you can counter enemy attacks. We've been countering enemy attacks anyway. 
Right, right. Gotta hit the button twice. I'm not sure why. I imagine that's a RPG maker problem. Whew, being behind that cover also gave me some time to get the sand out of my eyes. Taking cover doesn't outright remove status effects, but it reduces duration. And you also get some AP. I'll bet if I take cover again, this blindness will be gone. Absolutely. Oh, it, it only had one left anyway, but still. We got some AP back, which lets us squirrel things more. And I love being able to do that. Nice. And back to the gun. Nice. <laughs> some Everclear. Ugh, don't, don't drink that. Hold it right there, pendejo! I can't do, like, a a proper Spanish or Mexican accent in any way, so we're going with this. Don't take another step or I'll shoot her! Come on now, you all know she ain't got nothing to do with this. There are three of y'all. What do you say we settle this like men? You killed Hank and Carl! That I did, and I'll do a lot worse to you if you harm a single hair on that young lady's head. Not one more step, gringo! And here I was hoping you were the honorable type. Jack, you know what to do. Absolutely, Jack. Favorite character in the game. Ah! A pinchy ratchet! What are you putas waiting for? Get him! I, I am genuinely terrible <laughs> at a lot of accents. That guitarista's ballad has given his buddies more metal. If I'm gonna make it through this by the skin of my teeth, I'll have to get him to stop singing. I bet if I pistol whip him, it'll knock him out for a sec and buy me some time. I think it'll knock him out for more than a sec. Also, I don't know... I hit the wrong one. That was a mistake on my part. Um, you know what? Is this a 100%? I don't, I don't know if it's a 100% chance of working. Let's try something else. We do have a lot of accuracy, I think. I mean, it feels like we do. We haven't missed. Okay. You're back up. We've got 11 AP left. We can do this. It did seem to hit harder. Oh, still not quite enough. What? Oh, okay. Mm, we will do this. I was thinking, you know, there's not a whole lot of health left, but may as well just go ahead and use the jack attack. And I do feel like I'm making this harder than it needs to be. Mm, yeah, can't afford to do anything else. Can't quite get there. Not enough for that. Let's, yeah, also take cover. <laughs> Just take cover at each other and then no one dies. Everyone wins. I really hope Kabong is a reference to El, El Kabong. Which is an old cartoon. I don't expect many people to remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> Look at what the cat dragged in. Gene Smith. Feared you'd be buried on some boot hill or in the belly of some red man by now. Bloody Bill Anderson. You were always ruthless, but women and children. Thought even men like you and Quantrill had boundaries. How's your captain anyway? William Cantrill's dead, Gene. I'm in charge of the bushwhackers now. That's a shame. Ain't no one should ever put you in charge of shoveling cow pies, let alone a band of angry men with guns. My methods get results. You'd have known that if you hadn't deserted the cause. You two know each other? <laughs> yeah, that we do. Go on, Jean. Tell her. Tell your new lady about how you're a confederate. I ain't been no confederate for ten years, Bill. Been like you and Quantrill or what? Burning down homes, killing innocents, keeping people as property. I got no taste for it. Sounds to me like you lack the constitution to do what needs doing. That's why you're still running? <laughs> you're just a yellow belly. I'm gonna ask that you rescind those words, Bill. Sorry, Gene, I ain't one to rescind the truth. Then it appears we've reached an impasse. It appears we have. What do you say we sell this like men? Gene is about to duel another gunfighter. How would you like to proceed? We're going to jump right in because I've done the tutorial and I'll, you know, 
I can explain it as we go. You've yeed your last haul, Bill. Absolutely. Okay, so focus makes it so we don't miss is what I, I'm pretty sure that means. Uh, and every action that we take, focus, inch, and weight, it reduces the nerve bars on either side. And whoever loses their nerve first gets a bunch of penalties. And we also draw immediately when that happens. So inch will make your draw speed a little faster. Increases your chance of getting going first. It's focus your ability to dodge. That might be it. So Bloody Bill is almost out of nerve. I don't want to risk running out of mine. I want to keep my bonuses. So I'm just going to hit wait. He's freaking out. We win. Easy peasy. Of course, that one's not a difficult one since it's your first time doing it. Level up. Always fun. And we got we got a flame thing. I don't know how to pronounce it. O Ogon? 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 I don't know. You just took down all those men and didn't take so much as a scratch yourself. How'd you do that? Just a little something I picked up. Something you picked up? Gunslinging like that you don't see every day. Who even are you? Nobody of import. Like I said, I'm just passing through. Just passing through, huh? Uh... Well, enjoy it while you can. This town might be going away. A lot of folks are packing up and leaving. Yeah, but not you and your boy, right? Really? I figured a strong-willed woman like yourself wouldn't let a rabble like this stop you from carving out a life here. You just don't see it, do you? It's not just rabble, but creatures have been popping up more. Animals have been changing. Most of the town's guns have moved on or been killed themselves, and... Sometimes the dead will even get up and walk around. I heard stories about scarecrows moving around at night. You wouldn't believe some of the sounds the farmers have been hearing. Day after day, night after night. It ain't safe for my boy out here in the West. What we need is hope. What we need is a champion. I'm just passing through. Just passing through, huh? Know what? Never mind what I said earlier. I don't want you to stay. Please, just leave me and my boy alone. Ugh. We can now learn skills and rob these people of whatever they may have had. Pilsner, that is how we get health back. Stick of dynamite. That is an item we can use in battle. <laughs> we got a new hat. That's awesome. Shooting iron must have been Bill's dueling pistol. It'll make a decent sidearm. Side the hat, fire sidearm. Also, these guys got anything? Spare tinderbox. And some money. Tinderbox is sort of like a tent in Final Fantasy. But we need to find a campfire first. Also, no, there's not. This box looks different. Ah, cool. Yeah, some of that I didn't. Can we take that? Hmm, an old breech loading musket. Looks like a relic from the Civil War. It still fires. It may make for a decent replacement for the rifle I lost on the trail. We can. Got a flintlock. That is... Yeah, not that, not that. We go down to the equipment. Gear and equipment just sound too similar to me. So we'll lose some quickness and all of the counter rate, but that's all right. So what else did we get? We got that. I think I'm going to keep the cow, cow cracker <laughs> instead of the shooting iron. Even though this does seem to be better in a lot of ways. The Cowcracker can hit multiple enemies, and that is awesome. I did change the hat, right? Yeah. Okay, and we got Iron Sights, which we do have something that scales off accuracy. Also, I really like this. Like, up at the top, if you hit left and right at the beginning, it moves across the top. And we, yeah, this is the thing that we have. It scales damage off of accuracy. Take this, just improve it by five percentage points. Or five percent number-wise, I'm not sure. Just taking it because I can. But these kinds of skill trees, this is really cool to have in a game like this. You can customize, you can take stuff from multiples. Crossroads, I don't even know what this does. Resist shadow damage. This psychic damage and cause fear to enemies? That is cool. I need to look more into that if, if when we level up some more. 
Yeah. See, I don't think there's much reason to buy anything. Is there stuff to... Yeah, when I went through before, there is a box. It's locked and they're... Our only choice is blank nothing. Okay. Kitty. Sleeping. Awesome. This place looks cool. Like the layout of items and stuff. Another tinder box. Nice. Yeah, when I when I went through before, I didn't collect like everything. This looks right. I just saved these people. I ain't about to go stealing from them. I ain't a monster. We've already stolen a good bit of stuff from them. A couple different places. Let's see, I know there's nothing in the, uh, in the barn, really. I think. Wake up juice? That <laughs> must be the, uh, Phoenix Down-esque thing that we can do. Let's see. Ark antenna walked at night, Arkansas, a frightful sight. Now the question seems to be, what on earth did Tennessee? Okay, I get the Tennessee joke. Ooh, nice. Simple rosary was found. I, I get the Tennessee joke. I like that. <laughs> I'm also just a little disappointed I didn't see it coming. Um, okay. We got something. I don't... Drop holster... This is just draw speed, which I is only when we're dueling, I think. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Awesome. This isn't me singing, by the way. Usually I don't talk during cutscenes and stuff, so I'm struggling with the, like, do I say things? It's kind of a cutscene. Well, I am dead. None can excel. I'll open the door to heaven or hell. Oh, dear, someone would pray. Could you wait to call me another day? Oh, well, no land, no silver, no gold. Nothing satisfies me but your soul. Okay. I know I talked through some of that, but hopefully y'all got to hear the singing enough. The war happened ten years ago. Been wandering for ten years. Must be delirious from all this heat talking to myself like this. It was a long time ago. None of that matters anymore. Hmm? Jack, why are you stopping? Nope. Not gonna happen. What's it now, boy? Oh, hell, Jack, I told you no. I ain't going back there. Now get out of my way. Fine, have it your way. I'll just go around you. Damn it, Jack, leave it be. Okay, give me one good reason I should go back. Feelings? I ain't got no feelings. Just felt bad about what those bushwhackers were gonna do. It wasn't just for her. They're a good town. Don't deserve none of the trouble they was getting. For me? That widow ain't got no feelings for no one. She's a strong woman. Don't need no man mucking about with her life. Besides, you heard what she said. She said not to come around no more. I don't plan to. What do you mean I broke her heart? I didn't know her for but ten minutes. All this heat must have cooked your little rodent brain. Oh, now I see. You saw that felled oak tree and now all you can think about is lunch. I guess you're right. We could have at least stayed for supper. But none of that matters. We done been run out of another town. Just our luck. Self-sabotage? Get over here. I'm going to ring your scrawny little... Hold on a tick, isn't that Merle's grave? Now who would have gone and dug him up like this? No one, he did it himself. Blains! Oh, no, that's not the way I was going to do that. Wouldn't Sam hell Merle's a zombie? Brains! 
Brains? Really, you trying to say brains? Huh, <laughs> looks like that pickaxe of the head gave you some kind of speech impediment. Guess it's true what they say that a zombie's weak point is his head. Brains! Okay, I get it. You want to crack my skull open like a tomato can and eat my brains. I wasn't much a fan of you while you was alive. Got no issues putting a bullet in you while you're dead. Uh, undead. So we have stuff. Let's try the fire thing. Ooh, the gray boxes below the enemy health bar mean that the enemy has weaknesses you haven't discovered yet. Every time you successfully find an enemy's weakness, the icon above his health bar will be revealed. Some enemies, like Merle, have multiple weaknesses. You have to hit them with various damage types to find them all. Try hitting with fire to see what happens. Uh, well, it worked well. And it looks like it's one of his weaknesses. I just want to do things because they're new and they look pretty. Let's do it again. I like the animations. <laughs> so I, just, I don't know, I remember back when I was a kid playing various Final Fantasies and whatnot, and the animations that are in RPG Maker games can be a whole lot better, and in this game they are. You now have enough grit to use a grit ability. Grit is gained through various actions during combat. Grit abilities always cost 25 and tend to be very powerful. It's usually in your best interest to use them as soon as they become available. Now, from what I saw, that is generally true, but there will be instances when it's not. Status effects with a yellow number mean that the state can be stacked. Against all odds, can be stacked up to five times, and each one makes Gene stronger. But, ah, oh, we don't quite have enough for that. Um, how much life you got left? Not a whole lot. Let's misbehave. We can do this a couple times. Getting a couple crits should put us pretty close to just winning. I don't think we're going to need much more than that. Also, that aim to misbehave thing will let us stack grit really fast, it looks like. We get to do a couple extra each turn. No big deal. We'll do this thing because it looked like it gave, yeah, health and AP, so. We'll stay alive that way. And we win. Wait a minute. If you're here, that means the Boomtown. Chapter 1 The Dead Walk on Deadwood. Oh, hell. I always go back. Why do I always go back? The whole damn town has turned to zombies. This is bad. They're all as tough as Merle. I can't take them all on my own. There's only one man who can help me here. I'm gonna need Jack Wisp. Scourge of the Frontier added. Which, there's a mission log and there's a game manual in there, which is cool. Uh, we don't really need to worry too much about it. It's just head north. We'll figure it out. Wait a minute. Actually, now that I've said that, it looked like there were... Defeat zombies in South Pass. Huh. Is that where I am? I'm not exactly sure where I am. I am in South Pass. Let's do this. Let's see what doing this gets me. We can recover HP MP, which we do need. Uh, resting won't recover incapacitated members. Oh, no. And zombies and baddies will do the, uh, the respawning. Also an interesting mechanic. So that means that they aren't always... Hmm. That means we can wipe them out. Uh, let's go with the save game, just in case. I didn't want to put it in the autosave spot. There it is. Now we can leave. And now, if I go down there, I'm going to need to keep my wits about me. Just getting caught once, I could be done for. I want to see... what we have... like, how bad is this fight? Oh, just touching me. It got... okay. Damn, that was close. Gotta make sure not to do that again. 
Huh. So do I need to... Oh. Oh boy, that one almost got me. It did get you, my man. Okay, we're down to 800. Hmm. So being spotted is really bad. I thought we could fight them. We do have a quest that says to, to kill them. But I... Yeah, no, no. Well, at least we run a lot faster than they do. I don't want to lead them into anybody's house or anything. Oh, you're already here. Damn, that zombie's in my way. I'll have to find another way in. Huh. But if I could sneak in through this window. Yeah, actually. Okay, there's no zombies in here. I didn't do this the first time through. I didn't know this was a thing. Who'd guy showing the widow sitting with a very blurry baby? Are they here? No. Bolo tie? Alright, I'm intrigued. Let's see, the rosary we don't super need. Raises max HP? Hmm. I feel like we've got enough healing stuff that we don't really need that. They aren't here. Can we get back out the same way? No, of course not. At least the zombie's not a problem this time. <laughs> the flower's still fresh. An unmarked grave? Widow's husband, maybe? I was hoping maybe we could take that as well. Uh, so do I need to go into every store and everything? There we go. They are so slow. By comparison. <laughs> and they, I guess this is Metal, Metal Gear Solid rules on which way they're going to be able to see you. Let's see. This house is all beat up. Clearly this cow never came home. Uh, I don't know. It might be home. Oh, no. That's not just decoration. Another tinderbox. Hmm. Nothing here. Okay. Unless I'm missing clues by not clicking on everything. I swear I keep seeing stuff like sparkling or something. There it is. Oh, God. Okay. Damn, the zombies on the way. Find another way in. Okay, we've seen that one before. Bet I could use these boxes to climb up to that window. Yep. Okay. Maybe that's why they're all sparkly. Um. Hmm. Zombie's got a bead on that door. Best not go down there until I've checked the room upstairs. I I just wanted to loot some boxes, is all. Hey, found somebody. What? I, I thought you left. Yeah, well, I came back. You all right? I'm alive, but I'm stuck up here. Can't get past that thing downstairs. What even are those things? Zombies. Corpses have been cursed by dark voodoo to consume the flesh of the living. How? How do you know that? Best not to say. Are there any more survivors? I'm not sure. Heard some commotion coming from the gunsmith's second floor, but the ladder's gone, so I can't go in to check. Any alternative ways up there? Old Nash always kept rope locked up with his tools in the general store, but he lost the key while tending the horses about a year back. No idea what happened to it. Guess I'm heading to the barn then. Mind taking an old bartender with you? Say, I didn't catch your name when I was here before, partner. Might be a good thing to know if you're going to tag along. Name's Donald Justice, but you can call me Don. Glad to meet you again, Mr. Justice. Call me Gene. Don't worry, I'll get you out of here. Hey, awesome. Don Justice joins the posse. I am sorry I didn't come back down here the first time I played through. Use rope to reach the second floor. Awesome. Okay, so what kind of stuff you got going on there, Don Justice? Ah, Coach Gun. That is a shotgun. How puncher, you <laughs> just... Brass knuckles. You can have my old hat. Brass goggles? Uh, prevents blindness. Conan Walter used these to build his inventions to fight hostile copper African elephants. Copper? I don't know. His health is not as high as mine, so we'll give him the tie. Can I loot your place? Okay. 
There's not really anything there. Can I... No, of course. A zombie's gotta be in the door. I need a distraction to get past him. I'm gonna... I'll, I'll be the distraction. I... Mm. Smelling salts? I think that's all that we're gonna be stealing. Oh, some of these chairs you can walk through and others you can't. How'd that do? Okay, we got out. That's all that matters. General store. General store. There we go. Of course. Um, damn, the zombies in the way. So on and so forth. Right, we gotta go to the barn. Right? Should I? No, not quite missing a hundred or uh, five hundred health yet. That's how much a pilsner heals. Yeah, old Nash spent a lot of time working in here cleaning up horse apples. If he lost the key, this is where he'd be. Oh, that explains why I saw something sparkle over here before. Nash's key was found. Awesome. Can we? No, there. Oh, is that an undead pig thing? Cow? That isn't a dead cow. Sure. Um, guarantee a critical hit. Ooh, tools. Net launcher. Moderate damage knocks him back in combat order. Basic and fire damage to a single enemy. Okay. I do want some fire damage. Oh, wow. It is... This thing is insane. That was that was a lot. Let's do this. I can also use fire. Um uh. You know what? We kinda don't have a choice on using this. I'm sorry you're still on fire, dude. 300 damage? Oh, jeez. I hope there's something good in that chest that we're gonna be getting into. Um, I think I have to do this again. Do any of these stops bleeding? No. Okay. Since, since Gene was on fire, I wanted to use his stuff first, but, or uh, I want to get him healed up as quickly as possible. But now, Don is definitely going to need it. That is a lot. That is a lot of damage. Um, should I take cover or no? I think we heal first. And you also really need a heal. Pretty sure Don would get knocked out if got hit by anything else. Ooh, nice. That'll get some AP. And let me just do this. I'm gonna see if I can stack grit real quickly. Oh, what? You got an extra attack? You can also do it. What does yours do? Damage, critical threat, and AP cost of skills. Gain bonus damage and regain a small amount of AP when targeting an enemy's weakness. Huh. So just power boost. But it costs more. That's totally fine. This was doing some good damage before. Um, how about you just take cover and try not to die? You do the thing again, because you still have your overdrive up. Jeez, that is really strong. Untamed Fowl? No idea what that would do. Power Beans? We found some Power Beans? What does this do? 500 HP and AP. Okay. Power Beans? Permanently increase. Permanently increase. Ooh. Okay. Well, right now, I just need something to help. We don't really have healing, do we? Holy water can do some healing. Otherwise, we don't have much. I have to avoid fighting and getting slapped in the face by zombies. 
All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. So what did I need to do? I needed to get into some place with this key that I have. And of course, we can't just go in through the door. It's by fifth location. We already know that downstairs there's not much of anything here. Um, it seems like there's the the little sparkles. No, I was trying to go around. Gonna have to be more careful. A cat may have nine lives, but I don't. And I can't go in here. Um, the sparkle things don't last very long. Hmm, that post up there if I had to throw a rope. Yeah. Yeah, all I've got is Nash's key. I'm not sure. I needed to get up there. I don't see any sparkly things happening next to the general store. Oh, no, I didn't mean to go in. I was trying to avoid that because we are just going to die. Uh, I hate to have to use this, but... Oh, I can't use it outside of battle? All right. I'll use what I have. Hmm. Why did you go back in? I didn't even go to the door. Okay. Let's check the mission log again. Because I'm not sure what I was doing. So, where is the rope? The ladder to get to the second floor of the South Pass gunsmith is missing. Someone might be up there. Yeah. Zombies are blocking the way. Heart full of dynamite. Make your own door. Hmm. Cart full of dynamite? Oh, I see the cart full of dynamite. But there's a zombie. Now I see it sparkling. Ah, no, don't touch me. Gross. Enough dynamite in the cart to blow that general store sky high. Um. Let's push the cart. I don't want to blow it all the way up. I just... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Finally. Um, oh uh, yeah, this thing that we couldn't get into before. Got the rope. Awesome. Awesome. Taking my brain a little time to do this stuff. Got some smelling salts. Good. I robbed him after all. Now we can just get over here. Post up there, can throw the thing. We're doing it. Yeah, there we are. Went a little too far. Another lock. Damn, someone really doesn't want anyone in. Hey, anybody home? What? You? What are you doing back here? I ran into one of them zombies on the road. I couldn't leave y'all here. Some what? No time to explain. Can you open the gate? There you go. Looks like both you and Danny boy are safe. Are there any more survivors? They... They got Papa and... It's all right. Deadwood ain't far, just a ride north. We can make it there on foot. Can you and your boy walk? Yeah, we we can make it. Then it's settled. I'll get you to Deadwood in no time. I, I really appreciate it. Ain't not but a bit of kindness from a stranger. That's the third time you saved us. Don't count your blessings yet, ma'am. Say, I don't think I ever caught your name. Alice... Alice Ivers. Welcome aboard, Alice. You and Danny stick close, you hear? Alice Ivers joined the posse? Okay. Very cool. I feel like I missed so much my first time playing through because I just ran to the next place. I didn't realize that I should come back down here. Can we take anything else? Also, I am going to check her stuff. She may have some ability to heal. Oh, cool. Some Everclear. I have never in my life been excited about Everclear, but... Sure. We're doing it now. Um, dang. You don't have... That's... It does only list it in skills, so... Yeah. Okay. 
Well, at least there's three of us now. And a, a kid that's tagging along. I think we're just going to get out of here. I can't actually fight any of these things, it looks like. So we'll just get out. Use a tender box to heal up. Yeah, just rest and recover. And then we'll head north and see what we can find. I like the music. It's good stuff. Save the game again. Just because... <laughs> don't have any healing items or any abil ability to heal anything so we're gonna need it I'm sure it's a Sioux ambush the Black Hills are their holy land so they're probably not too happy to see us here they look pissed as hell and have us outnumbered we should cut my losses and run cut my losses hit cancel from the command menu to pull up the fight menu don't worry we will see it in a second ow our faces please stop don't we get a turn eventually? Yes. Okay. We can retreat. Simple as that. Now, Deadwood is north. Awesome. They're so tiny on the map. I don't know why. I like that. <laughs> I like that in uh, Alter Fantasy as well. Let's see. You do have a shotgun. So you can hit... <laughs> <laughs> listed as danger noodles. Oh, that is wonderful. It only hit the one, though. I think we stick with just killing one at a time. And you don't have a lot. Subtle fire? Puts the user in a demure state? Targeted less often. Huh. And we can take cover with her. Yeah, I want her to be careful while still doing some damage. So she's less likely to get targeted now. That's a cool ability. Okay. Easy peasy. Didn't need to worry so much. Deadwood Mining Camp. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. So this is Deadwood, huh? It is. There's a preacher here that can help us take back your town. Hope you don't mind, but I'll not be coming along. Never much like fighting. I'd rather just put down roots and live out my days. Understood. Still gonna help and see if I can't stop those things so no more ghost towns pop up out here. Good luck! So, what's a guy do for work around here? Mostly panning for gold or work in the mine, but there's also two saloons if you want to go back to Tin and Bar. Mining, you say? Maybe I can put some of this know-how to work on their equipment. Thank you kindly for getting me here safely, sir. There ain't much I can do to repay you, but I do have this. I don't think I'll be needing it anymore. See, bartender's apron? Sure. Don Justice has left, and that makes me sad. I don't know how you managed to do it, but you did. Don't mention it, Missy. At least a stranger could do for you and your boy. Just a bit of kindness from a stranger. Nobody of import, right? Something like that. Well, it's a mite bit of import for us. Thank you. The gym theater, huh? Think they have poker tables there? You know, I'm not sure. There wasn't no gym theater last time I was here. You play poker or something? Or something. I'm going to take a look around town, see if I can't find a place for Danny and me. Take care, stranger. Received marked cards? <laughs> Alice Ivers left. I best keep my wits about me while I'm here and make haste. If I know Jack, he's probably built a church by now. Just check there first. I think I'm going to check if there's a general store first. After I see what these items got me. See, I definitely want to keep the iron sights. Oh, I got the bowler type back. Nice. Um, increases luck by 25%. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Ooh, we got the goggles as well. Uh, resistant to chemical damage and poison. I... Hmm. I'm going to do that. I do like getting... Like, not having to worry about poison. General store, general store, where would there that be? Side trek completed. Awesome. There you are. And good. NPC didn't just stand in front of it all the time. It happens to me in so many games. Do you sell stuff? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you come in. You need something? Yes. There you are. Welcome to Bullock and Star, the premier hardware store in Deadwood. Anything I can help you find? 
Um, gear, mostly. Gauze is nice. I need... I need beer, not this stuff. Um, although... I will take a couple of these. I don't need the dynamite. Huh, that's cool. We'll warp you back to the last town you visited. That's, that's really cool. Um... Increases light radius for 100 steps or until you return to the world map. Okay. I see where that could be useful in some... Uh... Whatchamathings. <laughs> if there's an area that's dark. There we go. Let's see. Can I... Uh... There is a... Prospector's map. Nice. I was gonna say there's a chest. It's not a chest exactly. Let's see. Let's see. Gunsmith, I don't really think I need to worry about that. Is there... We passed the gym. Didn't we? No. Yes. I don't know. I want to see if I can get some... Whatever it was. Liquor. Hi. Can I... Have a drink? Yes, this. Oh, 2,000 HP? That's amazing. I need as many of these as I can get. Because I do not want to be left without healing again. <laughs> Alright, now we can go find this church. Let's see, let's see. Those boxes... Can we get up there? It doesn't look like it. That is not a church. That is a church. Hey Jack, guess who it is? Jack, you here? Anybody home? Huh. Where could have you gotten to? Excuse me, child. May I help you? Oh, yeah. Hello there, sister. I'm looking for Jack. Any chance you know where I could find him? He's normally here, but he also spends a good deal of time tending to the sick and wounded with Dr. Hathaway. The doctor's office is directly across the street from the hardware store, near the center of town. Thank you kindly, sister. I'll check there. And take your hat off, this is a church after all. But well, we're leaving, so it doesn't matter. So... Hardware store... Wasn't that over here? We did go to the hard... What did it say? I was too busy just thinking about, you know, like how people sounded in the Old West, because it was all over the place back then. Look for Jack at the doctor across from the hardware store. There's... <laughs> that wouldn't be the doctor. There's a barber pole and blood on a barrel. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Dr. Hathaway. That's me. Can I help you? What? A woman doctor? Hell, now I've seen everything. Hold on. I know that voice. Gene Smith, you filthy animal. How the hell you been? Glamity Jane, Sam hell you doing here? Doc Hathaway's been training me to be a nurse. Figured since this town's already got enough gunfighters, I don't want to go panning for gold. Might as well diversify. Oh, you two are already acquainted? Yeah, Doc. Gene here was one of the Charlie Utter's wagon riders with me. No need to grab the shotgun. He don't mean us no harm. You don't mean us no harm, do you, Gene? Didn't come to town intending harm. I ain't seen you since. When some wild-eyed eight-foot maniac grabs your neck, taps the back of your favorite head up against the barroom wall, looks you crooked in the eye, and asks if you paid your dues, you just stare that big sucker right back in the eye. You remember what old Bill Hickok always says at a time like that? Have you paid your dues, Bill? Yes, sir. Check is in the mail. Oh, fold. Out of money already. <laughs> you never were any good at poker, boy. But no harm. We'll get you there. Why don't you head up to the bar and get us another round? Damn you! Take this! Been a hell of a time here in Deadwood since. 
Dr. Hathaway, Mr. Utter's vitals are deteriorating again. Mr. Utter, is she talking about Colorado Charlie? Yeah, Gene, Charlie's been sick, real sick. He hasn't woken up for days. His symptoms don't make any medical sense. It's almost like his fever is burning him alive. There's nothing I can do to treat him, but Mei Lin. Dr. Hathaway trained me as a nurse, but my grandfather taught me other techniques from our home. A doctor can treat his body, but you need something more to treat the soul. Mei Lin is trying to blend Eastern and Western medicine in the hopes of healing your friend. She won't be able to help. It's not a disease that has him, it's a curse. Same one made Merle. Merle? It's been years since those engines got him. What's he got to do with this? A lot more than I care to explain. Jane, I need to find Jack. You know where he is? The squirrel? Yeah, my squirrel. No, the priest! Yeah, he was here a few hours ago, but the sheriff came and grabbed him. He needed his help to catch a horse thief. I heard some commotion next door, so they're probably back by now. Either way, the sheriff next door should have a beat on him. Thanks, Jane. I'll keep in touch. You ladies take care of Charlie till I get back. Before you go, if you're gonna find Jack, you're gonna want this. Receive smelling salts. What's this for? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Uh-huh. I don't like the sound of that. Um, let's see. Sheriff's office right here. Howdy, Sheriff. Don't mind me. I'm just passing through. Figured I'd pay my respects and let the local law know my intentions in town. Got a name, stranger? Smith. Got a first name, too? Jean Smith. Your name is John Smith? Jean. And I know I've been saying it wrong the whole time. It's because Jean is not natural for me. Jean, it's French. Well, Mr. Jean Smith, got any identification? I got this here six piece on my side. That worked for identification. Are you trying to intimidate me? Hold on a tick. That pistol. That's one of Wild Bill's twin Colts. Where'd you from? Where'd you get that? It's a memento. How do you know Wild Bill? There wasn't no law in town when he was killed. Now I recognize you. You were at the trial. Mr. Foreman, would you please inform the Miners Court of your verdict in the murder of James Butler, Wild Bill Hitchcock? We, the people of the jury, find the defendant, Mr. Crooked Nose John McCall, not guilty in the crime of murder in the first. Not guilty? Then by the rights invested in me, hanging Judge Parker by the Miners of Deadwood, do hereby declare you not guilty in the murder of Wild Bill. You're free to go. If that ain't murder, then there weren't never a murder ever committed. Gene, calm down. Woohoo, free to go! Out of the way, son! You turn and face me right now. If a plea of revenge gets you off the hook, I'm sure as hell have the same right to shoot you dead right now. Gene, it ain't a good idea. Ain't good idea, Gene? Why ain't you angry? Where's the calamity you got your name for, huh? Gene, please! Best listen to your friend, boy. Excuse me, and who are you to call me boy? Now, Gene, don't go off half-cocked. Keep in mind where you are. This town is an illegal mining camp, so it's not recognized by either the Union or the Confederacy. Now, we all know Bill was a Yankee, but most of the miners here are Confederates who lost their homes in the war, including McCall. You go popping off with your six-gun, you're liable to get us all killed. And you want your revenge? Take a breath, bide your time, and do him in when he skips town. You're not the only one going to be looking to put his boots on a hill. So you're the one Wild Bill was training as a protege. I just arrived the day before, and you didn't stay much longer. Once McCall skipped town, I figured we wouldn't be seeing you again. Did you ever catch up to him? Lost his trail in Wyoming and haven't picked it up since. That what brings you back to Deadwood? Unfortunately not. I'm looking for Jack Wesson. Heard he was helping you with a horse thief. Any idea where I could find him? We caught the thief and Jack went on his way. Don't know where he went off to. Have you been to the church? Already checked there, Sheriff. Looks like a dead end. No need for formalities. Any friend of Bill's is a friend of mine. You can call me Bullock, or Seth if you fancy. Thank you kindly, Bullock, but I'll be on my way. Received untamed fowl. Okay, got another one. 
Say, you been to visit him yet? We buried him on Mount Moriah on the northwest block of town. You're his protege. Wouldn't hurt to go pay your respects. Yeah. Suppose it wouldn't hurt. Okay. Ah, there's a horse right in the way. These streets are a little a little bit packed. How do I which way do I go? Mount Moriah is to the left. Okay. Do I I do need to heal at some point. Eh, it doesn't matter too much. Wild Bill J.B. Hickok. Killed by the assassin McCall in Deadwood, Black Hills, August 2nd, 1876. Pard, we will meet again in the happy hunting ground. Part no more. Goodbye. Colorado Charlie, C.H. Utter. You got a lot of guts showing your face around here. I don't know who this is. Jack, been looking for you. Don't take another step, Gene. I've got no interest in trading words with you. Jack, look, I need your help. There's... My help? After the trap you led those Rosenheart sisters into, why would anyone want to work with you? How was I supposed to know there'd be giant automatons there? Besides, you've seen them fight. Those tin cans didn't stand a chance. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times. You're not gonna fool me three times, Gene. Get your pistol ready. Oh, this just seems unnecessary, but sure. We'll focus up to begin with. We are using up more than he is. Come on, Jack, we're friends. It don't need to be like this. I ain't got nothing to say to you, Gene. Focus again. You know you don't want to fight. Don't want to do a lot of things, but a lot of things need doing. Let's try this. I need your help, Jack. Never needed help before, Gene. I think we have no choice but to wait it from here on. Merle went and dug himself out of the ground. Merle, but he's... Dead, yeah. Merle went down and we got ambushed by Cheyenne in North Pass three years ago. We buried him in everything. Yeah, but he was out there walking around again. That means he's... A zombie, I know. There's more out there, too. They've overrun South Pass and there's too many to handle on my own. I know I ain't no good at stuff like this, but Jack, I need your help. We're gonna need a plan. I'm gonna need a drink. Let's get down off this hill. The number 10 saloon seems a good place as any to talk. Jack Wesson joins the posse. Awesome. Now, if I remember correctly, he does have... Oh, he actually has some skill points. He can act... He can heal our, our party members, which is awesome. Um, let's see. He uses a shotgun. So... Let's see. Accuracy of shotguns increased when only one enemy remains. Sure. Why not? There's not really much reason to save skill points right now, so we'll go for it. Let's see. Number 10 saloon right there. We hadn't been into saloon. We went to the gym before. Hotel. Zombies is a pretty big accusation, Gene. You're telling me that Merle's corpse dug itself up and is walking around Wyoming territory on its own? He's not walking around no more. Put him down, but he's not the only one. There's a whole pack of them. Former bushwhackers trying to strong arm the people of South Pass. I got innocent folks out, but we can't let them things be. You know how fast they spread. How do you know it was Merle and not just some wild man? It was him, Jack. Still had the pickaxe in his head and everything. Pickaxe? You told me you pulled it out before we buried him. Oh, hell, Jack. It was a long day. We'd been walking for 16 hours and just survived getting attacked by Indians. I was tired and pickaxes are heavy. I just kicked him in the hole when he wasn't looking. That's no respectable way to lay a man to rest, Gene. Merle weren't much a respectable man, Jack. Excuse me, fellas. I couldn't help it over here. The two of you were talking about dead men standing up out their graves and hunting folks. Your hustling ain't a very endearing quality, Missy. Could do with a bit of an introduction before you join in a conversation. No, oh, Gene, this is Diamonds. She's a drifter like you arrived in town yesterday. Diamonds, eh? Charmed. Well, it's certainly nice to meet you, young lady, but dealing with these things might be a little bit more than a saloon girl can handle, no offense. 
So then I take it you know where they're coming from and can stop them at the source? Oh, honey, did you just plan to roam the frontier shooting any dead thing that moves? Truth be told, we hadn't gotten that far yet. What intel you got? Unfortunately, not much. What I do know is that there's a big pack of them to the south and they're heading north. Might only be a day or two before they reach Deadwood. Why would the dead walk on Deadwood? Brains. Ah, oh, damn, they're already here. That's Charlie Utter. Charlie's a zombie too? Looks like I was too late. Stand back, Missy. We'll handle this. Don't need to tell me twice. Just like old times, Gene. Remember how we used to take out zombies when we were in New Orleans? Sure do. I pressure them with fire. Then when he's on the back foot, you hit him with your holy touch. All of Jack's healing prayers are infused with light energy, meaning they can be used for either healing allies or harming enemies. Undead enemies are particularly vulnerable to light damage. That is so cool. I love when that is an option in games. Making moves flexible is, is really nice. Just whatever game you're playing. I'm used to seeing this kind of thing with, you know, like Final Fantasy and whatnot, the undead take damage from curative spells, but this one says that it works on any enemy, not just undead. That is... that is extra good. We'll just keep hitting it with the, the stuff. I don't... I honestly don't remember <laughs> what happens next, but I'm hoping that running out of AP right now is not going to be a big deal. I will hold off on his, though, because... I think I'm going to want to heal after this. So I want Jack to have some AP left over. Oh, but then we level up. I don't know if that heals us. Clint's Awesome. That was close. Too close. Nobody move and keep your hands where I can see them. What's going on here? Colorado Charlie, is that you? He's dead. Which one of y'all shot Charlie Utter? What are y'all looking at? It was those two right there! They shot that man dead! Damn it, Gene. You've been in town one day and couldn't keep that gun in your pants. And Jack, did he put you up to this? Sheriff, please. If you could just give us a moment to explain. Ain't no explaining necessary. A saloon girl with you... Nope. That's it. Gene, Jack, you're under arrest and come with me. New mission. A dead walk on Deadwood added. Yes. Save game. May as well. Uh, actually, we'll do this. I'll put it in an empty one. I never like to overwrite my saves, whatever's going on. Did we get... We did get a full heal. That's awesome. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I remember this, though. A spittoon. At least, it might be a spittoon. You're not sure, since there's no privy in this cell, it might actually be a piss bucket. Investigate it. Wait, what? Really? I mean, if it's just a spittoon, that's bad enough, but it might be a piss bucket, and that'd be way worse. Investigate it. I feel like maybe you aren't getting what I'm saying. We're talking about an object that people have been using as a toilet, but not just any people hardened criminals. This is a town of outlaws. So if you're getting locked up here, you must have done something really bad. Guys like that don't have the best hygiene or diet. Whatever's coming out of them isn't going to be pretty. And the best you can hope for is maybe they only have to spit tobacco juice into, in which case it's only full of rancid, congealing tobacco spit. I'm investigating it. Are you even reading any of this, or are you just skimming through the text? Piss bucket. Look, I'm pretty sure there's treasure in there. Piss bucket. Leave me alone. I'm investigating. Okay, fine, have it your way, your own filthy, disgusting way. It does indeed turn out that this is indeed a piss bucket, but you can't tell how much of the brown swirling liquid is from which orifice. Is it rotting brown spit? Signs of a urinary tract infection? Or worse? Either way, it's liquid, and even with the sundown, it still exudes a foul warmth, as if out of spite, in defiance of all things decent in the world. Fish around in it. What is wrong with you? Can it, narrator? Good God, okay, you plunge your hand in up to the wrist. It makes a thick gloop noise and breaks the thin skin of congealing bodily fluids and 
semi-solids that was previously keeping the dire smell at bay. You find yourself in a choking miasma of smells they haven't even invented words for. You know that feeling when you're about to puke? How you get that taste way back in the corner of your mouth, that metallic tang by the root of your tongue, like you're sucking on a corroded gold penny? Just tell me what I found already. Ten gallon hat was found. You can guess what all ten gallons are filled with. <laughs> I, I like that a lot. Can I equip it? I cannot. That's awful. Quiet down over there! Guard! Gene, I don't think that's such a good idea. But I wanna. Guard! I said quiet! Mm -mm, mm -mm. Guard! Rattle them bars one more time, watch what I do! I am purposely waiting. This isn't a cutscene. I get to choose. Guard! The hell? You're crazier than popcorn on a hot stove. Do that again and I'll shoot you instead of the bars, you hear? There is a sparkle next to it, but... Well, that plan didn't work. Maybe I shouldn't try to rile him up anymore. Aw, I wanted to, though. All right, Jack, now's your time to shine. Show Daddy what you can do. Hmm? Not you, the squirrel. Now keep it down. Go on, little buddy. You can do this. The squirrel is still my favorite character. Gene, that squirrel ain't never been no good at thieving. He's a good boy, and I ain't gonna hear you saying otherwise. Now don't you worry what he says. Just go over there and get them keys, and I'll give you all the nuts you could ever dream of. That's right. Just get the keys off his belt. We're free to go. Come on, little buddy. You're almost there. I've seen enough movies to know that never works. Damn good for nothing, rodent. We really should have stopped for supper when we was in South Pass. I told you that was a bad idea. Well, I don't see you coming up with a better one. I'm still thinking, but now that you and that damn squirrel aren't making all that racket, I'll be able to actually hear my own thoughts. <laughs> Leroy, help! The town's under attack! Under attack? Who'd be dumb enough to... I think it's the Pankertons! Quick, Sheriff Bullock needs you! He says that you're the best shot with a coach gun, and he needs all guns on deck. You don't say. Guns up, let's do this. Leroy! Jenkins. That was damn good work, Diamonds. How'd you make all them screens and gunshot noises? I didn't. You remember that it's a horde of zombies I mentioned? Well, they're here. Already? Oh, damn, we don't got a moment to lose. Quick, give me my gun belt. I should be able to shoot off the lock. Or I could just unlock it with the key I swiped from Leroy. Clever girl. Here's your stuff. We don't get a moment to lose. Diamonds joins the posse. And it's diamonds plural, not singular. There's a lot of gunshots going on out there. Okay. You don't have any skill points, but you do have what? You can heal. She can heal, and also, uh, you can see it says flush with her skills there, or her wiles. That is her grit ability. It makes all of her other stuff better. Hold on, it's a fracas out there. Let's grab that lantern before we jump in. Ah, uh, okay, fine. Hooded lantern was found. Is there anything I can steal while I'm here? Yes, there is. Dynamite? Read the story of Bullock and Star? Mm, not right now, there are people dying. Old Mexican rug was found? Alright. Well, we equip our main guy first, always. Oh, right! I bought that so long ago and forgot it existed. Um, raises evasion. Let's, let's go with this. Um, check your stuff next. Okay, that's just generally worse. Accuracy up? Sure. Um, Yep. 
what can we do? Conviction, I think. I think that might be a good idea for him. And sure. That's right, she's got the paired gun, saloon dress, pilgrim dress. Huh, when did we get that? Yeah, we'll go with the thing. Just whatever works. Give her health, because I think she needs health. And she can have the marked cards. Her name is Diamonds anyway. Mark card seems to work. Oh no, don't let me out. It's a lot safer in this cell than whatever it is going on out there. That is true until they get in. Oh yeah, Squirrel Buddy. Ah, and immediately it's a fight. Farm buyer. Okay. <laughs> Not much of an ambush there, dude. Um... Let's see, trick shot. Let's see if we can knock it back in order. This might just... Nope. Yeah, it did. Awesome. Uh, do I want to start using this now? Yeah, I may as well. Save us some getting hit now. I'm just thinking, like, do I want to use up my resources before we start getting into other stuff? Or do I want to do it in the beginning? Reinforce that hole. I don't want to see any more getting through. Bob, grab more barrels for cover. Don't stop firing until they fall. Who the hell let you out of your cell? Where's Leroy? Sheriff, those aren't human. They're walking corpses. That's why it takes so many shots to take them down. I did those voices too similar. It is. I take it Colorado Charlie was one of these. Oh, that's why you did him in. He was. Then what the hell are you waiting for? How do we kill him? Bless weapons. Or fire. Or headshots. Got it. Let's get to the hardware store. We need dynamite. Sheriff, the schoolhouse is under attack. Here's your chance to redeem yourself, Gene. Show me I can trust you. One of us needs to head to the store and get some dynamite, and the other needs to go to the school and save those kids. Which objective do you want to take? I'm going to go with the dynamite this time. I did the save the school children the first time. I want to see what's different. Kids need a hero. Better it be a lawman than a bedraggled drifter. Sounds good. Let's do it. Hardware store is north. Let's get there quick. Awesome. Then that also does make sense. So which way was... Let's see. Gene, look! The general store. Does that count? Saw a star and a zombie are up on the roof. And who's that with them? That's Mei Lin. We need to save them. Okay. Rescue Saul Star. Cool beans. There's nothing... There's no zombies down here. Huh. I'm a little surprised. S stay back! Don't worry, Mr. Star. I shall lure him away. Hmm. I don't know. I think we could just sh shoot it. Stand back, little miss. We'll handle this. Don't count me out quite yet. I may not have a gun, but I don't need one. Cool. Um. Oh, is she going first? Okay. Wind damage to clustered enemies? Awesome! It'll hit all of them. Ooh. The bat thing is even weak to that. Nice. So, let's see. Uh, I kind of want to go with the bat, but... I also just want to delay the turns of these things. Critical? Nice. Okay, cool. Let's see. The guns do a good amount of damage, so we'll just <laughs> do some gunning. Come on, be enough. Be enough to knock it out. Awesome. I am excited about that. Knock them back in combat order. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. The less damage I can take, the better, because then I don't have to spend stuff on healing it up. Um, mm, how much health does that have left? I don't know if... Yeah, we'll go ahead and try to... That... Okay, that was a lot. <laughs> I just... I want to try to get the kill. It's the best form of crowd control in every game ever. Um, right. Hunker down. Any damage taken while active is reduced in half. Wow. Power attack more threatening. Cool. Butt strike is just hit them and knock them out cold. Um, yeah, let's do this. 
That'll give us a quick kill. And medicine, I assume, yeah, we can heal people. She can heal people. Immune to dot status effects. Ooh. Okay. Heals more by removing status effects. That's cool. Okay. So, she could get rid of poisons and things. Where'd you learn them fancy fisticuffs? Family secret. Mr. Star, Sheriff Bullock sent us here. We need dynamite and lots of it. Dynamite? That's awful dangerous, you sure? Afraid so. Bullets ain't nearly as effective as fire for fighting these things. Understood. I'll get it to him right away. You want to join us? You want to go do it? No? Okay. Let's check on Bullock, see how he's handled the school. Good idea. Wu Mei Lin joins the posse. Awesome. And we already got a good look at what she can do. That's pretty cool stuff. Okay. Sheriff Bullock back at the saloon. Wait, did we actually get dynamite or did they just take it over to the place? And how much... I'd really like to get our AP back. But I don't think that's going to happen. Let's see, was it you? Dynamite! Get your dynamite right here! One free stick for every man, woman, and child. Tonight only. Oh, absolutely. There's four people with us. Can we... No? Not... I, I want four. Anyone comes near the gym, they're going to have to answer to my Remington. Okay. Um, but where is Saul? I didn't know what to do. I saw him in the school was shooting him. Didn't know anything. Didn't do nothing. My bad. Um, hold on, Gene. There's a zombie wandering over there. I don't think it's seen us yet. If we're careful, we might be able to sneak by it. Or if we sneak up behind it, we'll get the upper hand. Just be careful. If it catches you from the side or back or touches anyone in the posse train, it'll be an ambush. Got it. Well, it definitely saw us, so... Uh, my goal is... It, it's not even moving. Whoa, that is, that is a weird glitchy thing that's messed up there. I didn't want to do that. I just want to get over here. Because I didn't see Bullock. We were at the gym, right? Okay. We were in front of the gym. Is he over here? Sure wishing I had my main arm with me. Yeah. Keep getting back up. Okay. I am in the right place, right? Let's see. Sheriff Bullock near the number 10 saloon. I went to the wrong one. Where are you? Right over there. Okay. I went to the wrong place. I see you got Saul and the dynamite. Schoolhouse. Is, I hit the button too quick. They got Rando. That, that was that was pretty random. Yeah, we didn't know him. No time to chat. Quick, you four head up to Mount Mariah. We'll secure the mine. Cool. Um, I would like to heal first, if at all possible, and not. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what we got that can... Do we have anything that recovers AP? Just AP? I don't think so. Got a lot of dynamite, though. No, we can only heal HP. And I don't think I need that right now. Ah, uh, okay. I will throw one of these at... Diamonds, because she's about 400 off. Jean's only off by 300, so I don't know. That zombie seemed different from the other ones to you guys. That's hanging Judge Isaac Parker. I recognize the hood anywhere. He sent 160 souls to the gallows. Town finally had enough of him and rose up, hanging him from his own rope. And now he's back. Ooh. Why does he look different than the others? Sometimes when a particularly willful or evil bloke dies, the zombie that raises ain't of the normal variety. They come back as themselves, but not entirely themselves. Something truly evil and wretched. What does that even mean? Don't rightly know. Each one's different, but one thing that's always the same, they real dangerous. We best make sure we're fully prepared before we engage him. Absolutely. Is this... Yes. Okay. <laughs> as, as you do in every single video game, you always take about eight hours to sleep before saving everyone that's dying. 
Yep. <laughs> That's... That is... I'm so used to that, and I find it funny every time. Alright. Now we can do the thing. You're all gonna hang. Oh, okay. Hold on! Hey. Sheriff Bullock thought you gringos might need help. Looks like he was right. Virgil Vasquez is here to rescue you. Well, there's only room on the battlefield for four of us. Then swap me in, gringo! Press cancel to access the posse command. You can instantly swap out and reorder any number of characters you like, even incapacitated ones. So we have the choice of swapping in another person. Um, I'm going to do that. We've got three people in right now that can heal. Oop, change. There we go. So I'm going to change out Mei Lin. As cool as she is. There we go. We'll get Virgil in. Twin six pieces. Yeah. Beer bottle lenses. <laughs> okay. Uh, I... Ugh. Hopefully... He has some good stuff. Let's see. Trick shot. Uh, yes. Let's see if we can delay them a little bit. I don't think we'll be able to completely knock this one out. Okay, misses are good. And I'm actually going to use Unfriendly Fire. Unfriendly Fire makes Jack more likely to get targeted, which is really cool. Dark Draft may cause blindness. Large group of enemies? Okay. Um, quick Shot, Double Tap. Okay. Ooh, you can burn them. A large group of enemies. Even better. He does not have much AP available. That's weird. He came into it without very much. Uh, let's... That one's already burning. Do we need to... Yeah. I don't think it would, uh... Be a good idea to just let that one get some attacks. Okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad. You've already got that other thing running that I wanted you to have, so we'll leave that alone. Alright, you're... Oh, it uses 29... 28? 29. It's kind of hard to tell with that font. I think it's a 9. Uh, yeah. Okay, that was definitely a 9 before. Okay, I didn't realize it used that much. Let's, let's do the thing. Let's see if we can knock this one out. Awesome. Wow, that was good. You can just use your wiles right now. I think he needs it the most. Okay. Now we can get serious on this dude. Hmm. This dude has a lot of health. Uh, oh! We need to swap in Mei Lin for this. Okay. I will... Let's see, let's see. You don't have a ton left. I'm going to save his for an emergency heal. I want him to... Uh, be doing as much as I can right now. No, not you, not you. I want you to stay in. I don't know why, though. Why you over... No, actually, I do want to switch you back out with Mei Lin. There we go. Because you can heal damage over time effects. Awesome. So we will keep you in, like, always and forever. <laughs> If this dude's going to do poison stuff, then I, I want cures that also heal. Just immediately and always available. And, uh, that was over 800 damage total. Uh, no need to panic. We are good. Ooh, your grit gauge is ready. Recover AP, resist damage, and inflict recoil damage to anyone that attacks. I remembered that this was Jack's thing, is that if 
would take less damage, and that is why I used the Whatchama thing. The thing that makes him get attacked more. I forget what it's called. Uh but it is Oh, that sucks. It's super useful to have him since he can take reduce <laughs> reduce damage and make himself a bigger target. He can kind of act as a tank. It's just that it's it doesn't guarantee that he's getting hit is what makes it a little bit difficult. Let's do this. Just because. Um, no, I'll have you do your thing. No, you've got enough for your grit thing. Yeah, awesome. The Jack is pretty much fully healed. You do yours as well. Jeans is really good. Just being able to stack bonuses repeatedly and you still have the chance to make attacks and whatnot. Let's do this. Almost a thousand damage. That is way better than using the fire and whatnot. Okay. Um, so you still have that thing going on. You just take cover. I want Jack to have his AP available. I keep looking at all these things and wanting to do stuff, but... Sure, we'll go where the heal. Okay. what I do last time? While he's got his stat bonuses up, we'll just do... Oh, that was only 282. Um... Let's see... Honestly... Oh no, I forgot! <laughs> She's got her flush thing going on right now. That just ain't fair. At least they're targeting Jack like they're supposed to. See, you don't need to use your grit ability again because it's still running. That thing is still running as well. We'll keep you as an emergency backup still. I should just be targeting the judge, right? Um... See, we don't need you to use any of your other stuff. What if I... Okay, you use a bow. Not that button, that button. Uh, cool. She's got her grit thing ready to go. You can do your grit thing. Get some AP back. And then... That and deadly fire again. It takes a lot to, to get that one going, but... Oh, wow! That <laughs> was well over 2,000. Okay. And we're going to use distraction. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah, we can do some, some stuns and stuff, you know. Mm, got disarmed. Get the... Uh, Whatever it was, I was just thinking. Now I'm my brain is moving on to other things. Uh, let's do. What do you have as a secondary? Ah, right, right. Let's do this. I can't remember. I think the cross. Yeah, is the symbol for that. So we, let's not worry about it. Prayer. Can you use? No, he can't use unfriendly fire. We'll just do this. Good bit of damage. That's always nice. Um, let's use your grit ability, which is really cool. Uh, if you heal one person, then the others get some healing as well. Not as much, but some. So we're just going to keep stacking up wanting Jack to get hit. Because that, that makes it so much easier. He'll take less damage, and we can heal everyone a little bit that way. Uh, good. That didn't deal too much. Alright. You don't really need to use your grit ability right now. Oh, do you? No. Um, 
Hmm. Let's refresh on friendly fire. I just want to make sure that's up and running like it should be. And now we can do a whole group heal based off that ability. That is that is a really cool technique to have. Nice. Ooh, we can do the, the big stack of damage again. And that also gets us a good number of grit points back. Okay, it wasn't a crit this time, but that was probably too strong when it did crit. Now, I'm not entirely sure what stunned does, because they are still able to attack. Ooh. Diamonds is weak to that, and the others are resisting it. That's interesting. Hmm. Do you need to do the thing? No, you don't need to use your grid ability. Just use take cover. Get the AP. Um. What can you do? What can you do? Yeah. Let's do this. I can do both of them. I have enough AP for that. Jeez, that is so much. And we don't really need the thing, so let's see about doing this. Okay. That'll get all of us. Are you still? It's hard to see through. Yeah, still got the little diamond thing. The little uh, symbol next to the name. I really want to get this judge knocked out. Wow, it almost got everybody. <laughs> Extra nice with the counterattack. Okay. I think... I think and hope that this will be enough. Awesome. Ooh. That is a long fight. Being able to use Gene's stuff like that, comboing things that way, I didn't do that the first time. I, I didn't have those abilities. Ooh, that was close. Was, was that Judge Parker? It was. How's the mine? Secured. Uh, looks like the town's fended off the rest of those things as well. What an awful night. I'm just going to crash with a hard drink and a soft bed. The attack is over, but our business ain't. Gene, Jack, come to my office. We need to talk. As Deadwood recovers from the attack and buries as thankfully few dead, the miners do their best to get on with their lives. Luckily, the witlessness of the zombies paints the attack in an almost comical light, which the people remember mostly with chuckles the following morning. While Jack and Gene have been exonerated on the charge of murdering Colorado Charlie Utter, the pair are not out of the woods yet, for the sheriff is asked to speak to them alone. What did Sheriff Bullock find in the Deadwood Mine? What remains of South Pass? Will the rest of the West suffer the same fate? And who was behind these zombie attacks? These questions and more will be answered in the full version of Trailblazer. Which I am so excited for. I can't say enough good stuff about this. The stuff is well written. The, the music is well done. The abilities look cool. And of course, just the originality. The, the setting. I can't... I don't know if I need to give extra points or take a point away for setting things in Deadwood because the show Deadwood on HBO, like a lot of these names and stuff, it was historically accurate. So this is, you know, these, these were names of real people that live there. For those of us that have watched the show, these, these names are super familiar. And that is honestly, you know what, bonus points for that. I love knowing who these people are and being able to picture some actors' faces. Anyway, yeah, this game... I don't think I can say enough good things about it. And I I really hope that people will go and support the developers as they, they work on making this and, and getting the full thing out there. Support them a lot. I want to be able to play this whole thing all the way through as quickly as possible. So yeah, that that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Y'all know where the like and subscribe buttons are if you want to do those things. If you want to support me in the channel and like chat and, and see all the, the bloggy things that I'm doing over there, the Patreon link is down in the description. And I will see you in my next video. Later.